Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. And I'm Keith. And the rest of you are very lucky to be here, as well as Keith is as well. Welcome back, Keith. Keith, how the hell are you? I'm okay, Jeffrey. I'm alive. You are alive, and we're really, really glad. Um, we're excited to have you here. It's been kind of a, what, like a year and a half since you were here last? It feels like forever. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Being cooped up at home in the hospital. I no, you can still stay. You can still stay, stay sitting if you want. You bring it back. I'll sit down. <laughs> I, actually, I should stand really on it. And I should, yeah, yeah, exactly. Should have left it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but welcome, welcome, and welcome to everybody out there. Uh, sorry about all the technical difficulty yesterday. That was fully Facebook. Facebook's fault. They were down for um, the entire the entire world yesterday. In fact, they were on the news and everything. It was, it's a big deal. So thank you for your patience and thank you for joining us on a Thursday. It feels weird. I know, huh? In, in fact, because it's Thursday, we don't have Ambry with us today. So if we seem particularly frazzled or confused or fire. Or, or you feel something hot? burns up. <laughs> it's because we have Ricky here manning the camera today. Because um, Ambry is the one who always like keeps us. That's why I'm holding a paper. paper. All sorts of stuff is happening because Ambry is not here today. Um, but uh, she is watching and she will be helping out where she can. Um, but in the meantime, we are stuck with Ricky. All right. So I have a I have a number of things today. I also had to create a list because we're, we're very busy. I've been excited about this episode. Uh, for weeks and weeks and weeks, I have been working on this project, what we're going to talk about today, for uh, for a year, and many many people have been. So I'm really really excited to talk about this today. I'm very antsy, but in the meantime, I've got a few other items of business uh, to attend to. Um, first off, there was a phrase that uh, Ricky used earlier today that I would like us as a community. community. Um, with all of the, the shallow water folks out there and you and I and everybody else around, I think we're going to call you, and I hope I don't get in trouble for this. Now that I'm about to say it, people might be mad. I think I'm going to call you Chrysler Keith. Chrysler Keith. The From old Chrysler, here on huh? out. Like, you're like an old Chrysler. You fix one thing and something else is broken. And you know, that's been the theme for about the last two and a half weeks, Jeffrey. It really has. It's yeah. like, I think I'm doing okay, and I wake up in the morning and... Something else has gone wrong. Something else is just not going right. So let's set up a real quick timeline of Keith over the last two weeks. Two just weeks. Just real brief, real brief timeline. So two weeks ago last Thursday, I was in Corinne, northern Utah, mm -hmm. shooting snow geese. Right. After I shot the snow geese, I made a commitment to my wife and the rest of my family that I would go to the... Emergency room. Okay, okay, but back it up a little bit because remember, everybody, you, before you were there, you oh, were all the allergic reaction. The allergic to... reaction because we showed everybody the pictures and you were all swollen. You were Quasimodo in there ringing the bell tower, and they have no idea what I'm allergic they to or what sparked that off. Right, they couldn't figure that no. out, so that was just you. You're that all swollen. Was just, that was just me. So, so the Thursday yes. was snow goose hunting with my son-in-law. Right, not breathing really well. <laughs> Made commitments to go to the emergency room afterwards. Right. Checked into the emergency room. Four and a half days later, I get out of the hospital. You get out of the hospital. So a quick little visit. It didn't end up so quick. Not was, so quick. It was kind of. It's going to be expensive. Yeah, that's that's gonna that's gonna cost a pretty penny. Yes. Four days in the in the hospital. There's gonna um, be a lot of uh, shotguns and ammunition and stuff for sale at my house. Oh, jeez. <laughs> don't don't even joke no. about that. Okay, so. The whole hospital thing. The whole hospital with thing. With the... Uh, so I have a saddle pulmonary embolism, geez. which is just severe blood clotting for my legs, my lungs, up into my heart, and to top it off, a fibrillation. So my right. heart was one of the other main issues. They could not regulate my heartbeat. I could sit in my heart in the, in the uh, hospital bed and bounce from 80... To 160 at the at the at the right uh, like a light switch like a light the right switch. one to sure. Say. So it took him a while to get that regulated. Now I'm on blood thinners blood for thinners. life for life and probably some type of other medication for my heart to keep it right. Some under kind control. of beta blocker. Or some, yeah, beta blocker. That's, yes, the, word. So that's the word you're looking you know. for. I know. I, get I was going to get my phone out, but I couldn't. <laughs> I'm like it's a okay. something blocker. 
So, but other than that, I'm no, no, no. doing so okay. That, so that, that's about halfway. That's about halfway. Halfway through. Halfway so, through. So So then... We fight some more allergy problems. Right. Still ready, swollen. Uh, still swollen, itchy, irritated. Yeah. Ready to come back to work. Monday. Monday. Yes. Sunday night, I'm eating a one of my favorite Girl Scout cookies, Samoa. And I break a tooth. It just disintegrates. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> It just isn't getting any better, Jeff. I'm glad you're laughing at this. And so, yes, I am Chrysler Key. <laughs> but I'm still ticking. Okay. Barely. Not like a Timex. I'm, there's a little more hitch in my wheel than, uh-huh. okay. than normal. But. So, the broken tooth. Broken Which, tooth. Okay. And That's then, taken care of. Well, okay, we you have, have a cap on Tuesday next week. Got it. Cap on Tuesday. So, that was last Monday. Yes. Now, we, uh, we're here today. So, we were going to do the show Wednesday. Yes. And then I had really severe heartburn last night. <laughs> so I am chewing some Tums with the candy coated stuff that my wife really likes. And I choke on this stupid thing. <laughs> and it scratches my throat. And now I have this hitch in my throat. <laughs> and I think to myself when I wake up this morning, what have I done to piss somebody off? I, you know what? There's a rumor going around. I'm not going to mention any companies or anything like that. But somebody told me high up in the Mud Buddy mm-hmm. organization that somebody has a voodoo doll. There might be a voodoo doll out, out, they, out there that somebody is using. And they're you. using it really well because it's just kicking my... <laughs> <laughs> wow. All I have to say is wow. I mean, that's that's a lot. A butt. Um, but you're here. You're I'm here. standing. I'm standing about 50%. Doctor says everything will be okay. I'll be on meds. <laughs> I just need to slow myself down because I feel so much better now than I did two weeks ago. I want to do more, but yes. I can't. So but you I can't. Just gotta, you got to take it easy. But I was heck bent on being here today. Yeah, and you scratchy were scratchy throat, scratchy throat, and all. First thing, like, <laughs> Jeffrey, come in here and see what happened to me. <laughs> Jeff's just shaking his head like, "What? See, so tomorrow, I don't know what's going to happen. I, who it's knows? It's going to be a whole new adventure tomorrow. I mean, anything is possible <laughs> at this point." Well, th- thank you for that. Uh, yes. So now you are all up to speed. Um, th- and thank you. Thank you all for being with yes. us. That's and really you know, good. And, you know, i got to give a shout-out to the guys out of the shallow water. Thanks for your prayers, your thoughts, your kindness. i got a lot of people reach out to me the last couple of weeks on private messaging and that kind of stuff. It really means a lot to me, and I, pre- I appreciate that. I yes. really do. I also appreciate you, you that. You guys are amazing. While it was fun to have a lot of different guests come with me over the last couple of weeks. I'm very happy that you are back with me now. I'm yes. not as happy as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. So uh, now that we've got that out of the way, I do want to remind everybody, if you are out there watching, like and share. Um, if you like the show, please let us know. Comments and all of that. We really do love all of that. Um, I do want to get into a, an important safety issue, though. Safety? Safety. An important safety issue that maybe you can assist me with. I do want to talk about the proper method of eating Girl Scout cookies without breaking one's tooth. Do not insert the whole cookie <laughs> into your mouth at one time. I would suggest I, smaller bites. I have been laughing about this for days. and I'm, I'm glad you were laughing. It was pretty I know, freaking I'm sh- painful. <laughs> We, as a as an office, yes, have been it, I have really been. enjoying ourselves, and they were like, "Oh, you gotta get you gotta get some some cookies, and you gotta have Keith learn I'm how to sure actually." I've, eat. Had, uh, I've been kicked around the the, the, but, the office a lot lately. Yes. So to go along with this, I want to ask the question out here to everybody. I want to hear about broken tooth stories. That's what I want to hear. Um, the craziest thing that you have ever eaten to break a tooth, or something <laughs> funny that's happened, or you know kickback of a <laughs> rifle or something. I want to hear your crazy stories. That's that's what I'm looking for today in honor of Keith's Girl Stout cookie mm. fiasco of 2019. And let's see what happens tomorrow. I'll see what happens tomorrow. You never know. We can post something. All right. Excellent. So I better get out the phone and check on some... See if we have anybody watching. See if there is anybody even watching. I might be talking to myself right now. I'm here. Ricky's here. Well, Ricky's here. It's not... I mean... Oh, uh, speaking of, Keith did finally get a new phone here. I, I'm yes, on Keith's I brand new Apple 10. Apple this 10 is, uh, R, yes. I went, to, I went to a little is, cheaper route, but no more 6 Plus. No, this thing is awesome, so we shouldn't have 
Too much, too much different. It's probably uh, the only thing in my life right now <laughs> that is, that's, that is working. That's working at one hundred percent. Got it. Um, I've got a, I've got a John Wayne on. Hey, Tor- John. Tornado watch in Bama. Ooh. Yeah, you guys, you guys Good be luck. careful out there, man. Roll tide. Roll tide and be careful and and uh, we're we're watching that closely and our thoughts are with you on that. That is crazy. Um, Bryce Evans, someone get Chrysler Keith a padded suit. Sounds like he has had a rough few weeks. He it really has. has. But it's, we're okay. Man. We're going to survive. Put Keith in a bubble. That's from Nicholas Emerson. Hey, Nick. Um, Jake Vaughn. Oh, this is a question for you. This is an actual question Uh-oh. that you may be able to answer. Hope it's not medical. <laughs> <laughs> when having... No, just kidding. What oil you guys recommend for the 5000 EFI for first oil change? My dealer mentioned some race oil. We put um, Valvoline VR1 with uh, a zinc additive in it. With a zinc additive. For the first uh, 10 to 12 hours. Yes. Something with high zinc really works good with that flat tappet cam motor. So anything with a good high zinc will do you really well. Yes. Um, Chris Sims, uh, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap <laughs> works help like you a grow. charm. <laughs> bubble I know, wrap. It's, is... What you got is on the inside, Fire. man. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, we got Richard Rouleau on. Hey, Richard, down in southern Utah. Uh, Chase Rampy, Valvoline VR1 is what we run in our race cars. <laughs> awesome. Um, Nathaniel Melton, enjoying the show. Rick Hillicoss is on. Hey, Rick. Um, Frank Williams broke a eating a piece of pizza. Absolutely happens. And it's, you know, it's not even something. The cookie wasn't hard. Oh, His man. pizza wasn't hard. It's just one of those... It's just one of those things that happens to Keith. You know, yeah. they say three. It comes in threes. I think it's been more like a wave like of five. ten. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a... Okay, we've got some good stories on here. I'm going to go through these in a little bit and uh, and to get over these. Um, but while I have you here, though, um, I did want to talk about one thing. Since we are a, a motor show, Yes. Um, this, these are important things that I do want to talk about. Um, a question that that I had come up to me and that I didn't really know the answer. I thought I kind of understood, but it, it's a little confusing for especially our newbies, those who are kind of new to uh, Mud Buddy and our and motors in general. I want to talk about or have you explain to us uh, what is the difference? Oh, <laughs> what is the difference between a long tail and a super long tail? A long tail and a super long tail. A long tail and a super long tail. Because when I talk to new people about it, I'm like, oh, we have long tail, super long tails. They're like, oh, so it's a long tail, and then the long tail is just longer. Like, it's a bigger long it's tail. It's super long. That's yes. what they think. No, it's it's not no. super long. Got it. So, so our give long, us the... our long tail is one that we've been building since Glenn started the company 26 years ago. Yes. It is a direct drive, which means... The propeller and the shaft runs directly off of the crankshaft. Yes. So as soon as you fire up the motor, you have spinning prop. Yes. So you need to watch for your hunting buddies, your dog, anything in the way when you fire that motor up. Super long tail, what we've done, it's been out about five or six years now, is we put an electric clutch that bolts off of the crankshaft to a jack shaft that runs the propeller. Right. So you can fire up your engine and your propeller's not spinning. So while you're at the dock or doing whatever and your motor's running, you don't need to worry about your dog, your hunting buddies or anything. The motor's just running. You too. And then you just flip it into forward like our HD sports and our minis and the propeller engages and away you go. So it's a lot safer. Both of them are great. They both have the applications that they're both good for. Um, some people like direct drive. Some people like the clutch. So it's just kind of one of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and and, and with the uh, with the forward on the a super long tail, right. you have the momentary. Yes. So when you're coming in to put the boat on the trailer, you can bump that back switch or, or leave it into neutral. So right. it's it's got some benefits. It really does. So it just kind of depends. You've got some of the guys who have been running long tails their whole life. Oh yeah, that's all they're gonna run. Yes. You got some of the newer guys. They want to run the super long tail. It's a little bit safer, a little bit different application, but you know, it all does the same thing. It gets you where you want to go. Get you where you want to go. That's, that's the most important thing. That's what my it buddy will, does. It we, will get you where you want to go. But there are some different restrictions that happen with uh, super long tails and and regular long super tails. Super long tail. The smallest motor that we put on a super long tail is a thirty-five Vanguard. Right. We can go up to our forty. 
and up to our 50. Yes. And now on our old school long tails, we do a seven horse, we do a 23 and a 27 horse yeah. on those. Yes. So So remember that. That is an important thing too. Is that if you want if you want that big motor on a regular long tail, not going to happen. Well, you could go you could go up to 35 about on a regular long tail. Okay. Yeah. Good. There you go. So, just a, a few different safety features. Yes. You know, both of them are great machines. I've run both of them. I like both of them. You know, but yeah. I still love. <laughs> I still love the salty. Still love the salty. I love that fifty horsepower Absolutely. screaming machine. Absolutely. Um, let's see. I have got. Uh, I've got Trenton Almond. Uh, best prop for pushing a load for a five thousand. Big blade. Yeah, big blade. Well, especially I, you know you might you might be able to get away with the hammer on a, with a heavy load. No. Heavy loads, you got to go big blade. All right. Because you're running a heavy boat, heavy motor, heavy loads. You've got to be able to, you've got to get that motor in the RPM. If you're turning that motor low RPM, you're not going to get up on step. You need to get the motor up into yes. its power band. Absolutely. Um, Quentin Helms, where can I get one of those Mud Buddy sweatshirts? They are online right now. You go over to, uh, um, they're actually on the XL store. XL Boat store is who carries those. Um, so if you go to... XL boats and go to the store. They're that's there. where they are. I almost grabbed one of those, but I didn't think I should push that's, it that far. No, that's all right. You, you you keep yourself calm. I don't want you carrying heavy loads. Well, I have, or I have pills for that. Oh, you have pills. For that. Okay. I have pills for a lot of things right now. Um, we've also got Travis on, who's answering questions faster than we can. Thank you, Travis. Everybody, give a big old shout out uh, to Travis at BPS for his help answering our questions for us here today. Okay. Uh, oh, and Ambry is on. Hey, Ambry. <laughs> Not that stupid snow. Yes, I know. The snow. and The this, snow was a disaster it's, yesterday. Yeah, it's really crazy. All right, so I want to get to what I want to get to. Enough of this Enough Keith, of this Keith problem tail. and all of this other stuff. It is time to talk about what Jeffrey wants to talk about. Well, we, like you said, we've been wanting to talk about this for a long time, and we keep getting stopped. Stopped. Well, you know... Not everything works as smooth as our actual motors do. You know, some things take take time, and there are a lot of moving parts and, and hiccups. Hiccups and things happen, but it's all come together now. Yeah. And so it has been decreed by me and the office that you, as the shallow water adventure community, you have been deemed to be our guinea pigs. Oh. With what is happening today, we are announcing the official launch of our accessory line. This is a line of accessories that will attach specifically to the T-rail on the side of every XL boat. Every XL boat. Every XL boat has a T-rail. Oh, that runs along the side. You've all seen it. And now we have the bracket that will attach to all of these accessories and we will have them for sale starting in exactly 40 minutes. 41. 41. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> 41 minutes. Oh, gosh. I will kill you. Isn't there a cookie you should be eating somewhere? No, I'm not to break eating any more cookies. So I am going to show you these right now. We've been trying to get these up and on, and they are ready. They are about to go live in the store. You're going to be able to purchase these in today. today. So I'm going to show you some of these, how they work, and all of this. I'm so excited. So come this way. I'm going to hop in, and I'm going to show you some of my favorite, how they work. And all of this good stuff. You hop in, I'm going to walk around. He's just going to walk around the other way because he can't, he can't get in there. I'm going to put this. Do you want me to hold yes, that for Yes, hold you? that for me. All right. So here are a couple that I have already attached to the boat. Now, right now, we just have Scotty products. But that will change. We are adding some others. Hammer is coming on. And um, there is another one that I can't think of right now. I would love to help you out, but I don't know. Um, but they will all be coming in a little bit. But right now, we've got... Uh, We've got the striker, we've got a regular rod holder, and uh, some quick release, and I've got ball joints, I've got all sorts of stuff that is going to be available on the website in about an hour. But I want to show you kind of the, the process of how these work, because these are just the regular rod holders, right? You can get these right. anywhere. But how do you attach them to the boat? This is what's revolutionary for us. This is the for us. Excel Mud Buddy attachment? Yes. Prototype? So, well, it's not a prototype. It's not anymore. a prototype. Well, it's, it is because these guys are helping. Are helping? Helping? They're helping demo this out, and also our whole process of you know purchasing, shipping, 
all of this stuff. Discount? Maybe. 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 All right, listen here. So this is what has been engineered. This is the bracket. This is what we are calling the T-bolt bracket. And it has been designed and engineered. Here, I better go on this side. To fit at the exact same angle right into the T-rail right here. You can see that. Now, along with that, they have created T-bolts. That's hence we call them T-bolts. Now, when you buy this, it will come, these bolts and the knobs will come in a little plastic baggie, and you can see them right here, and they are flathead T-bolts right there, and is what happens, let's see, can you see, let's see, hopefully they can see well enough, but this T-bolt slips right into this little rail, and they just snap in if I'm strong <laughs> enough without the knob on it, but they snap right in there. And then they spin up as the knob twist, and they lock into place inside this rail, so they're nice and tight. Because tight. you don't want your, uh, you know, when you catch that big fish, you don't want to lose your pole. You don't want to lose your pole. No, don't want to so, lose a fish either. I'm going to show you this whole thing right here, because once I have a, so you're going to get, you'll get the bracket. It will be attached to, uh, you know, your uh, specialty item, your item Scotty rod holder that you would order. And you'll just put the knob. To, oh, oops! Dropped it. Good thing I didn't drop it. I know you'd never get it again. So the knobs just spin in, spin in, spin, spin on, in, spin, spin in, spin whatever. with. I'm spin easy for. today. I'm just here. I know. <laughs> You're easy. <laughs> All right. So then you line it up flat ways, so those will clip in. I can see. I've got this striker right in my way. Oh, I should never do this live. You know? Never do that live. Never do it live. But what you also can do, Jeff. See? Oh, there and you go. Pops, pops right in. in. Right there. Sometimes, depending on where you are, you just got to line them up. And you know, this boat specifically has caused us, you know, there, there we go. See, it just pops in right there, like that. And then these will tighten up. This boat has the uh, super liner on it. So we've got some extra coating inside so this of our... Is, yes, so this is a little bit thicker. T -rail. Hence why I had to push a little harder to pop that in. But they really do just line up right in that rail and then pop in. So that's how that works. And so it's once you get like these that. in there, they're basically, once you have them loose, because these are tight, you can adjust these to where you want them to go. Absolutely. I'm going to loosen up those bolts. Oh. And I can slide it and retighten it. Just... Like that. Just it's like amazing. That. It's am it is amazing. So this is this is what it is. These are going to be on sale. You will be able to purchase just this piece if you need it. Say you already have a bunch of Scotty uh, rod holders and equipment, and you're like, all I, all I need is the bracket. We have those. You'll be able to get the brackets. You will be able to get the striker. We've got rod holders. These items all come with the bracket. The bracket is included. It is included. Yes. So it's just one piece. One, one box that will come with the bracket and the, the stuff. So that comes. You can also buy, this is one of my favorites. This is the quick release uh, rod holder. It's a, now I can't think of the word, of, but it's, a, it's the base. It's basically this piece, but it comes just separate by itself and it's got the quick release button on it. Um, and that is, that is that. That's pretty much what I've been waiting. Maybe it seems simple to all of you, but this has been a long time coming, <laughs> trying to get all of this put together. Too and, long. All of the, uh, you know, part numbers and all of the bolts and the knobs and everything else that is coming. Plus getting it on the store and getting it ready and, you know, people in place to actually ship it. But this is why you are all going to be our guinea pigs today. Because I'm going to offer these items, everything from Scotty that we have is going to be an extra 10% off until Friday night. If you use the code T-Rail... 10. T-Rail 10. T-Rail 10. 10%. And it's 10% off. That's why you remember the 10. I was going to put just T-Rail because it, it's a T-Rail, but that spells trail. <laughs> and that would just be confusing. So T-Rail 10 for 10% off all of these items. Now, remember, for right now, because this is a test to, see, to make sure our system works, there could be problems. There could be mistakes. There could be all sorts of, you know, the whole thing could just blow up, melt down. Worse things have happened. But also, we do have limited quantities. So, you will want to keep an eye out, you know, at 
4 o'clock when this goes live or whenever I finish here whenever. and get up there and hit the actual go button. Um, quantities are limited, so don't wait if you're looking at getting some of these make, items. Make sure you like and share this with your friends so if they miss this, they can see yes. what they can get. This little bracket is amazing. If you buy these other products, the bracket comes with it. Or, yep. like Jeff said, if you have equipment and you need just your T-rail bracket, yes, you can get it. You can get it. Absolutely. This is going to be amazing when the snow and the ice melt. <gasps> We're going to be able to use it. We're actually going to be able to get out and use some of these. And it is not going to help Keith fish any better. No. But he won't have to hold his pole. He can just, you know, Relax. stroll through Facebook. I will be able to go fishing, though. Yes. That's all I'm looking for. Yeah, I will man. be there. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, like I said, these are all going to be on sale um, starting at 4 o'clock. The, uh, the promotion code will end Friday night at 11.30 my time. That's Mountain Standard Time. Um, that's when it will end. So get them before then so you can get that, uh, that price off. Um, but yeah, we're going to continue to build on this and it's, it's going to be amazing. You're going to be able to customize your boat the way you want it, sh the way you want it, the way it should be. So you could have one guy fishing or three or four guys fishing. Yes. Everybody's got their own stuff and they're out of each other's way. Absolutely. I'm it, looking forward to it. I'm it, not, you know me, I'm not a big fisherman, no. but I'm excited to go fishing. I'm excited to do a lot of things right now. <laughs> You're excited to just... <laughs> B. Be here. <laughs> yes, absolutely. No, and it really does help to make our boat a 365 day a year boat. That is our goal. Uh, we'll, both with XL and with Mud Buddy, right. we want all of our equipment to be able to run all the time. This isn't just a duck boat. It is now. It's a fishing it's boat. A fishing boat. Absolutely. Family boat. Family boat. We we're going to use it all the time. So we're really excited about this to be able to to get these accessories. So these are going to be in the XL store. That's where you're going to go to find these. I will post the link as soon as I get up there and hit the go button. I'm going to put the link at the top of this des description. I will also probably post it all over Facebook over the next little while uh, because I'm really excited about it. Um, but that's that's about it, Keith. That's kind of all I have to say. But I'm going to pull out because we might have questions. Well, I have some questions. Got a little bit of... Got a little few things to We give do away. have some things to give away. Okay. Oh, nobody has any questions. Really? No. No questions? No, but they a lot are of people... making cookie jokes, though. They <laughs> a, lot, a lot of cookie jokes. Easy a lot of cookie jokes, guys, okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> Will you offer these in other angles for other boats that use a T-rail? You know, they... Right now, no. Uh, we, don't have, we don't have any in a different angle. This is from... Um, oh, now, I, now I lost it. Uh, this is Chris Sims. Chris Sims, I'm going to get you a hat, though, for this. Um, thank you for asking these questions. Um, it, may, it may fit in there. I'm not sure. I'm not super familiar with all the other boats' right. rail systems. But the angle will be slightly off. These are designed specifically for the angle of our boats. So it might be off, but it might be something that you could still try. I mean... Who knows? Who knows? You, you, if it doesn't work... It's not going to be a real easy bend because looking at this bracket, it looks like a nice piece of stainless steel. So, yeah. You know, so you might be able to manipulate your, it a your little. Your rod little. holder might be a little askew. <laughs> a little, you might be able to manipulate cut. it a little bit, but not a lot. Because yes. it's a pretty nice looking piece of stainless steel. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> Luke Powell, your big melon is in the way. Is that my melon? That's probably my melon. <laughs> So rude, Luke. Hey, Luke. So rude. Luke, I got a Tangle Free hat for you, Luke. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> tangle Free up to fade hat from our good friends at Tangle Free. From our good friends These at Tangle Free. These guys are amazing, Free. and they have great, Oops. sorry, Luke, great, wonderful products. Go out and check out their web pages. Of all of our sponsors, go check out their web pages. See what they've got available for you. We Absol appreciate them. Absolutely. Phil Bustos, what is the price for just... The bracket, just the bracket is fifteen ninety eight. Plus shipping, what that will be. Uh, yeah, shipping is not included in that, okay. so you will have to pay for. They only need that ship. And but that includes the four bolts to hold down any, uh huh, any bracket yes. and the two T rail bolts and knobs. knobs. You get knobs, T bolts, and then all the bolts to actually hold on the uh, rod holder. The rod holder base. 
the Scotty Bait, which works with so much stuff. And we do have um, on sale, there are lots of other items that we have that I'm not showing here. Um, like, uh, oh, my brain. It's the, the cutting boards. We've got a bunch of the cutting boards, both in black and white. I've got um, these uh, ball adjusters. I've got height adjusters, all sorts of just regular Accessory. items and, and accessories. It's all on excelboats.net. Nope, nope. Dot com. Oh, dot com. Ooh. Excelboats.com. <laughs> Excelboats.com. Cool. Yes, and you go to the store, actually, which is one of those you'll see support slash store. That's where, uh, where you'll go. Um, but I will put a link to make it easy for everybody. But uh, yeah, so more than just these. These are just the ones. I only brought these to show you how they connect. Right. But all of these, like everything that we have, connects into these bases right here. Gotcha. Okay. Sounds cool. Yeah. It's really, really awesome. Um, can you mount a light on those brackets? I believe so. I believe they have some connectors through Scotty. We do not have any on, on our site right now, but they probably will be coming. But, you know, there's all sorts. Of, I mean, it's really plug and play, this Scotty stuff, which is really awesome. That's why I, that's why I like it. Uh, Hands-free cookie eating contest. <laughs> I might break it too. Where is, oh my gosh. I'm not Nathaniel entering Daniel Melton, that is, that is what it needs to be. Oh, you guys are killing me. You know, if you really just want to get rid of Keith, all you have to do is send him Girl Scout cookies. Just send those to, uh, what is it, Nine nine thirty seven West, 1400 I South. Don't know what they are. I know how to get here. I don't know what the address you Google. Send them home. Google it, yeah. Just you Google can, it, just mud buddy. Send Keith some Girl Scout cookies, and you'll put him right back in the hospital. I don't prefer. I don't like thin mints. Samoas only. <laughs> Samoas only. Spud pole kit for the T rail. I believe there is something that is coming. I heard talk on that. I'm gonna get back to you. Um, oh, it keeps moving. Jake Fawn, I'm gonna get back to you exactly what is gonna happen. But take a look at all of the different options on the website when it goes live. Um, and see, but I did hear talk of uh, spud pole holders. the spud pole holders and all oh, of those that. would be nice. Yes. Um, will you be able to drill mounting holes to attach your own attachments? I am not sure, Phil. I'm gonna also have to look. At, I love all these questions. This is why we're doing it. I don't have I would, all the I, answers to I this. I would think they probably could drill holes. Just remember, it's stainless steel. Yes. Low speed. Good bit and some oil, because yes. this stuff does not drill easy. Yes, it is a big, it's a thick piece. It's like you'll want to, uh, you want to watch out for that. But like I said, we we do have other ones coming. We have other brands like Monster, and why can I not think of the other one? There's yeah. another brand coming, Ram. I have Ram, Ram coming as Ram. well. So, and I'm not, they're all a little bit different. So there possibly could be different brackets that might be what you're looking for. Um, but I am gonna keep track of this question for you. Phil. Um, TJ Owings, what are the prices? So just the bracket by itself is $15.98. If you buy one of these, the bracket is actually cheaper if you buy a rod holder. A rod holder? Yes. Or some other accessory that, that has it included. But just the bracket by itself is $15.98. Um, the rod holder, this is my favorite, which is what I'm excited to have. Oh, I got to make sure I get the right one. Um, Thirty-six ninety-eight for this one right here. The striker, which is this, which is really cool, which maybe I might have to keep on this boat. I think we're keeping all of this on the boat. Oh yeah, okay. And good. some extras. Probably good call. I believe the striker. I better open this up because I'll read off the wrong price and everybody will be so <laughs> mad at me. Why did I make the uh, da, 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 sixty-seven ninety-eight for the striker? Sixty-seven ninety-eight. That's the striker right there. Uh, okay, hopefully that answers some of your questions, but you'll be able to see those all on it. It's a regular, beautiful store. They'll all just be in there. You can look at them, and read the descriptions, all of that stuff. Um, okay, do you have... Okay, I knew this question was going to come up. Did you? I've well, been are waiting. you ready for it? I, you know, I... Yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay, do you have the stove attachment yet? No, I don't have the stove attachment yet. It is coming. It is so close. We just had to finish up all of this, and then the stove is, is coming. It is closer than it has ever been before. We will go talk to <laughs> our general manager slash engineer, and we will try to get an answer for you Yes, soon. But really soon. We like, want it out as bad as you do. The like, prototype were great. Yes. Need a little tweaking. A little tweaking. But not much. But uh, no, I mean, we're talking, we're talking delivery dates. We're right. talking like maybe we should go ask UPS. 
kind of a deal, right? Like that's how close we are right. to having the rest of that. Um, okay, let's see. Do you have the uh, do the rod holders swivel? Yes, they do. These are all the locking systems, so they just pull up and swivel all around and push it back. Wow, mm -hmm. that's cool. They're all like they're all like that. They all spin. Up. Sorry, I, well, I, I loosened that. Oh, you so did. You can yes. Move it. Yeah, so you can move it. Yeah. Good. I was like, oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's not good. Uh, okay, so that's good. I do really love Scotty stuff, though. They are really awesome. They've got the nice, you know, rubber to hold on your your pole, your pole and, so you don't lose it. Yes, yeah, so you don't lose it. They've got lots of good stuff going on. Spud holders. So okay, spud holders. We're getting everybody, a lot of everybody on that. Likes spud. It is a really good idea. Um, can buy rail, put on any boat with C2. So these are adjustable to several angles. Yes, Brandon Smith. Magna Grills has... Yes, we'll look at all those options. Great. Okay, so that's kind of where we are for right now. So, just to wrap up, at 4 o'clock, these are all going to go on sale officially for everybody. There are limited quantities for the next probably two, three days. Um, while we kind of test this whole delivery system and, and everything else. But for you guys who are watching today, use the code T-RAIL10. Um, at the, when you're checking out, there's a little spot as you're checking out. There's a little box right there that says apply coupon code. You put that in for t an extra 10% off um, to get those. That will end Friday night at 1130 Mountain Standard Time. So at 4 o'clock, go on, grab what you want. And, uh, you know, have the best boat Have the ever. best boat. I think we still have, like, two more giveaways. All right. Next, well, I've got lots of stuff who... Stuff I've got, yes. I've got you people the, who... Um, link at the top? CJ Hendricks. Yes, I did put the link, link at, the at the top. So all of you who are winning, please go and uh, click the link above, fill in your info, and we'll get that out to you. CJ Hendricks. Uh, what do we have? Let's, let's go... Uh, let's go with the deep. Okay, CJ Hendricks, uh, the deep hat and koozie. Cozy. Koozie. Cozy. It's a koozie. It's for you. <laughs> um, and then TJ Owings. We've got backwater performance. Backwater performance channel. hat for TJ. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and then Phil Bustos. Mallard um, Madness. I've got Mallard Madness 12 for you. So all of you, click the link up above, fill out your info, and we're going to get those sent off to you. All right, I think that, let me check my list. Check your list. Santa I did, Claus. that is everything. We got through, we like talked about Christmas the long tail. March. It really is. I, I could not be happier. Like, I might sleep tonight. I hope I Actually, do. Actually, I maybe. I probably won't. I'll be so nervous about <laughs> If shipping. everything's working yes. right. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching today. Um, we really had a good time showing this off. I've been really excited. Please like and share if you like the show. You want us to keep going. I want us to keep I going. I want to keep going. It's the only thing that keeps Keith alive. I know some pills. <laughs> and pills. <laughs> and pills. <laughs> Shallow water and pills. Shallow water and pills. That's, That's what Keith is made doing. of these days. But do like and share. <clears throat> Send us all your comments, your suggestions. Um, we do really love all of that. Um, and then a big thanks and a big shout out to all of our sponsors. Lucky Duck, Echo Calls, Tangle Free, um, BPS, of course, XL Boats, who is hosting all of this stuff, who without we are... We're not fishing. We're walking through the mud. <laughs> holding a very heavy motor. That sounds horrible. Um, yes. Oh, and Camp Chef, Camp Chef as well. Big thanks to them. Um, so, everybody, thank you so much. We will be back next week, Wednesday, at our usual time at 3 o'clock. We are, fingers crossed, going to be out on the water. I've been saying it forever, but next week the weatherman says... Up in the 50s. Up in the 50s. So we're going to actually get the salty cleaned up and back out on, onto the water. Maybe try some and we're going to try some of these new things out. Gear, That's exactly right? what we're going to be doing. So tune in next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. We'll see you next week right here in the shallow water.